Am I the asshole? For not telling my mother-in-law her son had passed? I sound completely awful here, and I think I might be. Now that pretty much everyone in my family thinks I'm horrendous, I wanted an outside opinion. My husband passed away recently after a very sudden and difficult struggle with cirrhosis. It was easily the worst thing to happen in my life. The damage was invisible for years, we never saw it coming. He got so sick, so fast. After they diagnosed him, he lived a little over a year. We called all our family, including his mother, who otherwise we don't have much contact with. I've always hated that woman. She has always been cruel to him, put him down every chance she could. When we called saying her son was terminally ill, she first denied it, insisted we were lying. Then she went on about how we should have seen this coming, that this is just what happens when you're a drunk. Of course this shut down the call pretty fast. She only called once after that, and we didn't pick up. A little over a year later, I had to bring him to the hospital and in two days, he was gone. At that point, he was already just so confused and hardly conscious. I told my parents and his brothers, and we were the last people to see him. I wasn't doing very well at the time either, everything just happened so fast. I wasn't ready to make any of those decisions, and between the doctors and the bills and just seeing him so sick, I didn't even think about his mother. In the days after, I just didn't want to deal with her. I know that's horrible, but I was just so tired. She called me a few weeks later, I'm not sure how she heard. She was hysterical, which I know is understandable. She said I robbed her of saying goodbye to her son, and robbed him of a proper service. I should have just hung up, but I was so hurt and so angry. I informed her a very nice service was held, which every important person in his life was there. I said she must be mistaken and blocked her number. She's gone ballistic. Called my brother-in-laws in tears about how I've ruined her life, gone on Facebook about how devastated she is and publicly begging me to talk to her, how she just wants his things and to know what happened. Even my parents said it wasn't my place to make that choice for my husband, and I should try to talk with her. I know I probably should. I know he was hers before he was mine. But she made him miserable, and if he had been able to choose, I know he wouldn't have wanted her there. I don't think she deserved to see him, and I don't think she deserves to have any of the things that were his. But now that I write it all out, it really sounds horrible. Maybe I'm out of line to make that call. The only people who haven't said I was being cruel are my husband's two brothers, who know how she can be. But other than them, she was the only family he had. Maybe it isn't my right to interfere with that. Maybe beyond asshole. Am I an absolutely awful person? Not the asshole the fact that her other sons also didn't call her to have her involved goes to show you made the right choice. You said she has two other sons, didn't they inform her about your husband? WTF? Why didn't his brothers tell their mom about the service? Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Blood relationship does not entitle anyone to be in someone's life. She didn't earn a place in her son's life. That's on her. You and your husband gave her a chance to be there for him at the end, and she made her choice. She sounds like a narcissist who is more concerned with garnering public sympathy and playing the victim than actually caring about her own son's passing. Continue to block her from everything, including your own thoughts. I am sorry for your loss. When we called saying her son was terminally ill, she first denied it, insisted we were lying. Then she went on about how we should have seen this coming, that this is just what happens when you're a drunk. Mother of year said no one ever. She gave you no reason to believe she would do anything other than hasten your husband's death had she been told his passing was imminent. Neither you nor your husband owed her anything. Block her and focusing on healing. I'm so sorry for your loss. Not the asshole. Not the asshole her own sons did not reach out to her, you were distraught, they should have been the ones to let her know. She also has no claim to his stuff, his possessions belong to the marriage. 
if you choose to speak to her, have a mediator like one of her sons. Info what do your brothers-in-law say about this? Not the asshole. I told my parents and his brothers. And his brothers did not tell their mother because, why? Edited to add now that I saw your explanation about your bill, you are 100 not the asshole. Do his brothers not know how to use a phone? Not the asshole there were two other adults there who are actually related to her, this wasn't something that only you could have done. X200B. And anyone with a judgment beginning with a Y congratulations, your parents don't suck as badly as this. Not the asshole. There is a reason his two brothers didn't call her. There is a reason they didn't tell her when the service was. Follow their lead, block her everywhere and keep your precious memories. It is kind of weird she wants his stuff anyway, I love my mill and get along well with her but when my husband passed unexpectedly she asked me for nothing of his. She knows it goes to me and our kids. Not the asshole. She sounds awful. Even my parents said it wasn't my place to make that choice for my husband. Yes it was. He chose you, not her. My dad was an alcoholic who died this way less than a year ago. His family who was never around to help out while he was alive insisted on a burial four days after he passed when they found out because of their Catholic faith but my dad told my sister he wanted to be cremated. They even flew in uninvited. We told his family to fuck off and cremated my dad. You're not the asshole and I'm sorry that you're going through this. Not the asshole. I'm very sorry for your loss. I mean, you said his brothers knew? Why wouldn't they tell her? Not the asshole. You told his brothers. Could they not tell her? You're not an awful person. I'm sorry for your loss. Not the asshole, and you know how I know? Your husband's two brothers, the people who grew up with your husband and probably know your mill best, are on your side. Mill must be really awful if they agree with what you did. Best wishes and healing to you. Not the asshole. I can't call you an R for the loss of your husband and trying to deal with all the responsibilities associated with that. You were in a very bad place and you did what you could by reaching out to some people. I feel like his brothers could have reached out to their mother. She wants his things? She has not rights to his possessions even if they were on good terms, so what's all that about? Not the asshole. I'm sorry for everything you've had to go through. She was aware of what was going on and chose to be anything but supportive. In addition, her other sons were aware of what had transpired and could have notified her if they had felt it was the right decision. Not the asshole. Had she been involved in his life until his death, she would have known. His brothers were, and they didn't bother to tell her he was dying or dead, so that tells you all you need to know. Keep her blocked. Not the asshole. Her history aside, you were a grieving wife, it's not entirely on you to inform everyone. You said you told his brothers, so maybe she needs to do some soul searching and ask herself why not only your husband went no contact with her but her other sons didn't bother calling her and informing her that her son was actively dying.